Hi, it's Maria from the Wood County District Public Library, and I'm happy to be here to share a story with you from our Bunnies Book Club. Yeah, so sign up for Bunnies Book Club, or if you have already signed up, just keep reading, especially those 20 minutes every single day, and do our missions online. You'll find out how to sign up and how to find those missions if you go to WCDPL. Dot org and you'll find the link to register for Bunny's Book Club. I want to share Creepy Carrots with you. This is a favorite book of mine and it ha it's written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Peter Brown. has a sticker on it, doesn't it? This book won a 2013 Caldecott Honor. And there's another sticker inside here you can see on these end pages. We put a sticker on here honoring Eric Charneski for reading 500 books. He got halfway through the thousand books before kindergarten program when he was honored with this sticker. So you can also sign up for a thousand books before kindergarten. Creepy carrots. Thank you so much, Simon and Schuster, for giving us permission to share this book. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Kraken Hopper Field were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on his way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Yum! He loves carrots! Uh-oh. Until they started following him home. What? What? At first he noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister tunk, 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 tunk of carrots creeping. Oh my goodness. He turned, but there was nothing there. Hmm, just my imagination, he thought. But he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew. Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed, Creepy carrots! In the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any creepy carrots. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. What? What? There is no such thing as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her head. There's no such thing. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing. Terrible carroty breathing and there on his wall oh, oh creepy carrots he shouted dad dad his dad thumped into the bedroom and threw on the light he searched under the bed no creepy carrots he looked through the closet no creepy carrots he opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. 
By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real. And they were coming for him. But, he, but they couldn't get him. If they couldn't get out. Hmm. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> What's he building? What is he building? Oh my goodness. He's got a plan. A saw. <laughs> Some heavy machinery. Lots of water. A hammer and nails, some wood. <gasps> As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no thunk, thunk, thunk. There was no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. Look at that. Look at that fortress he has built. Look at where all that water went. Did he make a moat? Did he dig a moat and put water in it? And who's in that moat? Who's swimming around? Are those crocodiles? Yay! <laughs> Little Jasper's so happy. <gasps> oh, and as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken. Hopper Field. Cheered! <laughs> Yay! They were so happy. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. Look at what they did. They said, we won! We won! Our, our plan worked! <laughs> so there were creepy carrots, weren't there? Sure enough. <laughs> that was really fun. Did you think that was what was going to happen? They, those, car those creepy carrots had a plan, didn't they? They knew what was going to happen. Well, you probably know this little rhyme. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. Yeah, and you have five pumpkins right here. Yeah, here's one, two, three, four, five. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, we're ready for some fun. <gasps> Went the wind, do you see the wind? Oh, help me make the sound of wind. Woo, with the wind, and out went the light, and the five little pumpkins, woo tumbled out of sight. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, we could do the wind like this. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins tumbled out of sight. Hey, take care. Until next time, happy Halloween. Come see us at the library. We have lots of Halloween books for you to check out. Lots of Halloween books, music, movies, and more. Until next time, take care.